a dynamic disc model with a central fissure, represented often by MRI, a high intensity zone. Innervation into the inner two thirds. When these become symptomatic, innervation can cause pain and often patients will report that flexion will cause symptoms. And you can see that here with this model. So under flexion load, right, dynamic flexion load, the nucleus will drive posteriorly. You can see that by the end plate angles. So the nucleus will drive anteriorly this way, makes sense. But as soon as the end plates become parallel and beyond that, you can see how the nucleus will push posteriorly and extrude through the annular fissure. Right? That's why you'll get this chronic back pain that just continues to present itself because it's like a cut in your skin. If you keep opening it, it never gets a chance to heal. And with nerves, right, seen in the spinal canal, this can cause symptoms as it abuts the nerves in the canal, in particular the thecal sac, the dura mater, and then the rootlets having an impact on the CSF flow and compression on the nerves. So a model that can help patients understand their symptoms and make modifications to their posture to not open the fissure and giving it a chance to heal.